Maybe. Yes, probably. Sade, <laughs> the answer is yes. We are expecting to continue to see this rainfall as we head into our Sunday, Monday, even until Tuesday. Taking a look at our satellite radar here, rainfall already making landfall for most of the north coast and our valley region. We are tracking that rainfall right now. We did see some sprinkles earlier in the day today. It has since started picking up, especially for Red Bluff and Chico. Do expect some rainfall into our overnight hours. We are once again tracking the winter storm warning sticking around through Tuesday it kicked off earlier this Saturday morning. We are expecting a significant amount of mountain snow expect anywhere from one to three feet of snow anywhere above 2500 feet and anywhere above 5000 feet expect several feet of snow upwards of four feet is what we are expecting. But most importantly, driving conditions could be hazardous, so be very careful. Do expect some road closures depending on where you are traveling. Make sure you have those chains ready to go in your vehicles and taking a look at those temperatures. We're in the lower 40s right now for Redding in the 40s right now for Red Bluff as well along the north coast in the upper 40s. Pretty chilly in Mount Shasta in the lower 30s. Do expect those temperatures to drop down into the 20s for parts of our mountain range here in the 30s for Weaverville and for Hay Fork 32 degrees. It is going to be a very chilly night tonight and we are tracking above normal rainfall for most of the Pacific Northwest and most of the state of California. California here pretty dry for other parts of our nation and we are looking at below normal temperatures. So once again, that cool down in temperatures as we head into the work week and into our Sunday, all thanks to low pressure coming in from the Pacific already making landfall earlier today along the north coast and into our foothills and our valley region. And let's take a look at what we're expecting as far as snowfall goes in those higher elevations, picking up into our night tonight and into those early hours tomorrow and definitely looking at some heavy downpour in parts of our valley region and parts of the southern end of our inland areas as well. And once again, those higher elevations do expect to see the potential for snowfall into our evening overnight hours and definitely some rainfall for most of our north state, which sticks around for the better half of our Sunday into those early hours of our Sunday morning and into our afternoon hours Sunday around 2 p.m. Still seeing some parts of our region looking at some rainfall and into our Monday morning. Once again, this winter storm sticking around for the better half of our Sunday, Monday, even until Tuesday. We catch a little bit of a break for parts of our nor north state into Tuesday afternoon, but still sticking around another round of showers and another chance for rain and mountain snow as we head into Wednesday, still at about 50 percent chance for our lower elevations into our Wednesday, but definitely looking at clear skies once again, possibly towards the end of the work week, but definitely going to be an eventful work week, mostly rain conditions as we head into our Sunday temperatures tonight will be mostly chilly in the lower 40s and the 30s for Mount Shasta, upper 20s for Bernie and for Alturas. Very chilly conditions with a high of 34 degrees for Mount Shasta tomorrow, lower 40s for Hayfork and for Lewiston. Our temperatures in Bernie in the lower 40s and Alturas looking at lower 40s. Chester should be around 37 degrees tomorrow. Reading your temperatures in the upper 40s. Lakehead should be in the lower 40s. Very chilly conditions in Chico as well with a high of 47 degrees. Paradise will be a little bit cooler than that. Our next seven days for Redding. Windy conditions for Monday. Make sure to bring in any outdoor decorations that could fly away if you're in Redding or Chico because those winds are going to start picking up as we head into the work week and rain conditions for the better half of this weekend. Shade. Thank you so much, Cassandra. The incoming snow means ski resorts are preparing to reopen for the